Welcome to SVR IAS Academy. In this video lecture, let's discuss about white fly, white fly and damage to the cotton crop, especially in the states of Punjab and Haryana, and farmers' suicide. White flies are small hemipterans. They are small hemipterans and mainly feed on the undersides of the plant trees. The first important point, it typically feeds on the undersurface of the plant trees. In the tropical and subtropical region, white flies become the serious threat to the crop production problems. So in tropical and subtropical regions, white flies cause damage to many crops. In this image, you can see the white fly which is feeding on the undersurface of the leaves. White flies feed by tapping into the phloem of plants. This is an important point. Taps into the phloem and introduces toxic saliva and overall decreasing the turgor pressure within the plants so that most of the plants which are affected by white flies will be perished soon. White flies control is very difficult and complex task because white fly develops resistance to the chemical pesticides. If you use a pesticide called A, for some period of time white fly can be killed. After that white flies start developing resistance to the pesticide A. Then we have to change the pesticide and after some time white flies develops resistance to the B also. Like that it has the ability to gain resistance to the chemical pesticides. Another important point is that white flies attacks Bt cotton mo the most. You may know about the story of Bt cotton. Before that farmers used to grow the traditional cotton varieties for a long period of time. After that, the company called Monsanto, the seed company US, developed a Bt cotton. Bt cotton is a genetically modified cotton that introduced in India. It provides high yield. So it almost replaced the traditional cotton seeds. According to the statistics, more than 90% of the cotton grown in India belongs to Bt cotton variety. Especially, white fly attack is most common in Punjab and Haryana last year. Yield came down to 40%. Bt cotton accounted for almost 98% of the total cotton planted in these states in 2015. Another important prelims point is that Central Institute for Cotton Research is located in Hisar. Hisar is located in the state of Haryana. In 2016 also, white flies started appearing in the states of Punjab and Haryana. So in this background, state governments of Punjab and Haryana has warned their farmers regarding the possible white fly damage to their cotton crop. In this topic, one concept came in the news that is economic threshold level. Economic threshold level and what is the importance of this? White fly level may be low or density of the white fly may be very high. As already we discussed, if density of the white fly is very high and White fly has the power to develop resistance to the chemical pesticides faster. So in this background, if you give chemical pesticides treatment in both cases, won't be useful. There's a certain point to which chemical pesticides treatment will be useful and beyond that treatment may not be useful. So how to find the threshold level? That is called economic threshold level. It means it is the density of a pest at which 
density of the pest at which control treatment will provide economic return. So farmers has to get the economic benefits. If they spend so much on providing chemical pesticides, they won't get any returns. So it's the economic threshold means the density of the pest at which if you're using control treatment will provide returns to the farmers. It is called as economic threshold level. The topic is very important for prelims examination, so prepare well.